hello everyone this is Manoj welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video I'll discuss and talk about how we can create cascading drop downs in react js so we'll create three drop downs one for country one for state and last one for city so once we select any country so we'll populate the state drop down and once we select any state then we'll populate the drop down for cities so far I have created a blank react js project you can see in the browsers this is the default interface of a react.js project so now let's go to VL studio code expand this source and go to app.js let me remove this header we don't need this one save this so now first of all we'll create a array of countries So, const countries. So, in this, we'll create object for countries. So, for ID one and name India. Let's copy this and paste. Now, change ID to two and country to USA save this now let's create a variable for country we'll use use state and we'll pass blank array now let's create a use effect quickly so inside this use fact we will bind this set country and will pass countries now come to return section here if country and country is not equal undefined then we'll use map function country dot map here we'll use ctr just an object for a country and index and finally blank no country so here will return and before that let's create a select over here select class name form control and let's pass a default option with the value zero and for this use text select country now inside this return we'll create the same option so write option and for value we'll use ctr dot id and for text we will use ctr dot name and here we will use a key which would be the index one so let's save this and here let's pass the blank dependency so save this one go to browser so you can see we have our countries so now go to app.js and sorry app.css and here let's remove everything a part of app and let's create a class select class inside this first give width 50 percent important and puts margin zero auto save and copy this class go to app.js and paste it with the space after control now you can see 
now we are having our countries perfect so similarly as we create an array for countries now time to create array for state so after this const states so inside this id 1 here we will use country id so by that we can get to know this state belongs to which country so country id 1 so this is for india and the state name is let's say haryana copy this object and paste let's say four times so we'll use two states for india and two states for usa so now let's change the country id to two so that both belong to usa and here texas and california save same way let's create a variable for state and set state so now go to your country select here we need to create a event handler so on change we will pass the value so handle country and here we'll pass e dot target dot value save let's copy this and create a event handler sorry const handle country and here we are getting the id so put id over here so now const dt equal so now here we will filter the states array so it's states dot filter so let's say x x dot let's copy this variable country id equal 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 id and finally set state with this dt so save this one now comes to the return part let's copy this one and put some br and paste it over here let's also give id let's say ddl country and here we will give id id ddl states states okay so here we will use state and first option would be select state and instead of this country we will use this variable state copy save this one now let me cut this let's save this and now go to browser so as of now there is no state if I select any country you can see oops why okay Rihanna let me give Delhi save this now refresh the browser India you can see Delhi and Haryana is coming if I select USA then Texas and California both are coming perfect so this is how we can use our cascading so now finally let me control sorry control Y and let me control V let's copy this handle state so now we need to create a cities variable so let's copy this one and quickly 
change the property so city and set city and same way we need to create a city array so cities and instead of this country we need to use state id not capital s s t a t state id let's quickly change so we'll create two cities for each state so for for first haryana let's say state id 11 so let's say for haryana faidabad and let's say palwal and for state 2 let's say i'm using random city's name so please bear this and for state 3 and state 4 we have houston austin and for california we have los Angeles and San Diego. So save. Now let's copy this handle state. Now we need to create a event handler. So const handle state. So it will again get state ID. So now const dt equal. Now we need to filter the cities array. So cities dot filter. here x x dot state id equal equal id and set city dt that should be a arrow function so save this one now finally again copy this drop down and paste it over here and change the id so ddl city and for city we don't need any event handler so remove this one and first option sh should be select city 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 and here no city state So save. Go back to browser. So as of now, there is no state and city. Let me select India. So in state we have Haryana and Delhi. Let's select Haryana. In cities, you can see Faidabad and Palwal. Let's say Faidabad. If I change the country to USA and Texas, you can see Houston and Austin. Let me select this one. And if I select California, so Los Angeles and San Diego. so perfect so this is how you can create your cascading you know drop downs so for this video i'm getting the simple reference of these static arrays but in real projects you could write a web api and based on your web api request and response you will get those values all right so there is no difference instead of using this static value you can use a simple uh, api call which will give you this data all right so this is about today's video i hope you like it if you did so hit the like button share comment and please subscribe my channel if you didn't subscribe i really need your help and support and if you are looking for any paid service kind of project in assignment let's say you are doing some internship or you are you know um, creating your college assignment so i do this kind of stuff so you can connect with me on my instagram or you can find my email in my channel description so i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching take care bye bye